During his appearance on the Polsat News program, Baschak broadly discussed the reinforcement of the Polish armed forces, also referring to the delivery of MBTs expected to bolster the capacity of the armored component, suffering from a minor loss of potential following the delivery of MBTs to Ukraine. Poland has sent more than 200 T-72 MBTs east. Some rumors suggest that PT-9120 MBTs could potentially share the fate of the T-72s. And finally, Poland has reached an agreement with the United States to buy 116 used M-182 Abrams tanks to replace equipment provided to war-torn Ukraine, the Polish defense minister said on Friday. The deal will enable Poland to restock its tank arsenal after the country sent more than 240 modified T-72 machines to help Ukraine battle Russia's invasion, Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister Marius Baschak told the media. Deliveries are expected to start in early 2023, public broadcaster Polish Radio's IR News Agency reported. With the deal, Poland's tank numbers are expected to reach 366, significantly strengthening the defense capabilities of the Polish army, Baschak told state broadcaster TVP. The announcement marks the latest step in the government's drive to modernize the army amid the Russian threat, officials told reporters. The M1 Abrams main battle tank was developed by Chrysler Defense. Production of the M1 started in 1980 and ceased in 1992. This MBT was named in honor to the General Abrams, commander of U.S. forces during Vietnam War. The M1 Abrams MBT replaced the M60 Patton in service with U.S. Army. Currently the M1 Abrams main battle tank is no longer in operational service with the U.S. military, and a number of these tanks were upgraded to the M1A2 standard. U.S. Army has over 2-300 of these tanks in reserve storage. The original M1 was never exported. Approved for production in 1990, the M1A2 represents the U.S. Army's technological improvement of the basic M1A1 design and the most modern battle tank in the world. Outwardly similar in appearance to the M1A1, the most notable exterior changes on the M1A2 are the redesigned Commander's Weapon Station CWS, and the addition of a Commander's Independent Thermal Viewer on the left side of the turret forward of the loader's hatch. Internally, however, the M1A2 has been radically redesigned to take advantage of newer technology. The Abrams has the firepower, mobility, and survivability to provide the key component in the combined arms team. The Abrams tank is fitted with advanced composite armor, which provides substantial defense against enemy fire and improvised explosive devices. Fuel and ammunition reside in separate compartments to protect the crew from the risk of the tank's own ammunition exploding if the tank is damaged. The Abrams is fitted with an onboard digital fire control computer which enables the gunner to point and shoot to engage targets. This capability coupled with an advanced sensor suite allows the Abrams to engage targets at extended ranges, day or night, even in adverse weather conditions. Poland in April signed a United States dollar $4.74 billion deal to buy 250 new Abrams tanks from the United States in what officials hailed as a key step in boosting the country's defenses amid Russia's war against Ukraine. In recent weeks, the government has announced the start of deliveries of the C-130H Hercules military transport aircraft, as well as the purchase of grenade launchers, turret systems and military helicopters, among other equipment.
In a speech to newly commissioned army officers in the southwestern city of Rockbaugh on Friday, Baschak said that Poland's neighbor Ukraine has been attacked by Russia. He added, our task and your task is to deter the aggressor so that the aggressor doesn't attack our country. Baschak told his audience, why won't the aggressor attack? Because year by year the Polish army increases its numbers, because year by year the Polish army is being equipped with modern weapons, and because Polish army soldiers are patriots. A strong army means a secure homeland, he also said.